Hello, welcome to another Daily Digest video. I'm Ross Miriam. Today I am playing the Mono Green Monument deck that took ninth place at the Classic in Cincinnati. Sweet little Mono Green aggro list that uses Monument as Ronus's Monument as a source of reach because it gives your creatures trample and a way to power up Galta, which is pretty awesome. You can defend your creatures with Blossoming Defense, which is definitely important when you're trying to just go in on one big trampler. Uh, and just normal green value creatures. We got Murphy Branch Walker, we got Jade Light Ranger, things like that. Uh, and four copies of Walking Blister. This hand is fine. It's a little mana heavy, but we have a fine early curve, so I'm going to keep it and just hope to draw some of the high end in the next three or four draw steps. Inspiring Vintage, a little red white aggro. Blister should be quite good in this matchup. As long as we don't get run over too quickly. I'm going to try, I guess, to Ballista on 4 mana. I think that'll be best. Take my 1. Okay, our opponent is Token Zing, which means this Ballista is definitely important. Uh, Second Blossoming Defense and another land were not the draws we were looking for. Really need to hit a spell here just so this is a good blocker. And hit another land. Oh, that was a disaster. I probably have to just trade this Branch Walker for a... a token. Hmm. Yeah, I get to flip this Adanto too. That's bad. I mean, it's maybe I'm just supposed to crack back with it, but they're just gonna make more tokens. I don't know. I just want to buy time to hit my high end. As bad as that feels. Ooh, and missed a land drop, so that's a good. Uh, I think it's actually now important for me to get value of these blossoming defenses. They can definitely have removal up here. So I'm going to play Ballista on one. If they go to kill it, I can defense. Next turn, I can go Jade Light Ranger plus defense. If I still have a defense in a couple turns on turn five, I can put another counter on Ballista with defense up still and start going to town with it. Start. Okay. That is not what I wanted to see. Although we Blossom Defense does match up reasonably well against Finish as a three mana sorcery. So I'm at least happy to see that. I would love for them to main phase the finish on Walking Ballista. I would get to Blossom Defense and then uh, the landing. Yeah, I just sort of get to play the landing for free here. I'm going to take this. I don't really want to trade the defense or the ballista. Next turn, we're going to start trying to trade down these tokens. Good timing on this. If I if they had gone for it first, I get to blossoming defense and then make a block. Uh, but I do at least get to stop this harness lighting. If they had a second removal spell, they should have just waited until after damage. Okay, let's play a Jade Light Ranger. And hope to not hit two lands. Kenra is definitely going to go to the graveyard. 
and Galta might be going into play. So right now I have five power, so it costs seven. The Branch Walker could make it cost as little as four. Yeah, so I'm going to top that. That is a card that matches up very well against tokens if I can stabilize for a, a short time. So now I will do the one token, go to nine. They have blossoming defense in their deck. Um, I think I need to. Uh, I I need to be able to protect the Galta from this finish. So I'm actually going to. Uh, use my Ballista as much as I don't really want to. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to not. Maybe I'm just to let this trade happen. Next turn, put a counter on Ballista. Then play Branch Walker. That's, that gives them a lot of time. lot of time. Uh, but without the Ranger, I'm really far away from casting this Galta. Yeah, I think I... Gross. They have... Sheltering Light and Blossoming Defense in their token deck? I don't really understand either of these cards, because the point of playing these tokens is that they're good against removal anyway. These cards are good when you have like, big expensive threats. But, I mean, it's blowing me out here. Um, Yeah, I mean, I just have to try to survive now. Sure. They just traded Sheltering Light and Blossoming Defense for my Blossoming Defense and Walking Ballista, and I didn't get ever blocked with the Ballista. So I'm in really rough shape. And they got and they got a scry out of the deal. And they scry to the top. It's probably land four. Uh Now I need to try to find another Blossoming Defense. <laughs> Why? I uh, hit land both times with this Branch Walker. I am very dead. Very, very dead. I guess my opponent now doesn't have black mana for the finish. So that's something. How are they at 25? Oh, they bought the yeah, I blocked a lifelinker. So they they got a bunch of life out of that exchange too. Uh. <laughs> okay, well there's black mana for finish. What is going on? That's definitely black mana. Pirate's Pillage. I just have no clue what is happening here. Haven't the foggiest. But I'm going to hope they flood and I get to play some stuff. They attack all five, and I block two of them, and I go six. Yeah, 
You're going to block the vigilance ones because my plan now is going to be to get this resilient Kenra back. I think I'd be in fine shape in this game if I didn't hit land both times off a of branch walker. But, you know, that's the game you play. Now I'm going to get in for eight. Eighteen. Oh, that finish is going to do me in. If I can draw Blossoming Defense on this next turn, then I think I might win. Because I can Blossoming Defense the Galta and the double hash of Oasis it. The following turn. I have an 1818 Trampler. I like to see land. What else you got? What else do you have? I can also draw another Ballista. That would be very good. Um, not a lot else. Most of the rest of my deck is just big creatures. Oh, another one. Ugh. Now they get, yeah, that's ridiculously good. Now they get to sack one of the new warriors, kill that, get a clean attack for three. I'm forced to play a cre another blocker here or I'm dead. So I have to play the Galta to the other finish. And I've drawn yet another land. I can't even cast Galta. I'm actually one mana short. My ninth land is just too many. Okay, well, I know what's going on. They have some weird tricks I was not expecting. Um, that does not seem good. Uh, Carn I want Trample Creatures, so I like Carnage Tyrant. I don't much care for Merfolk Branch Walker, because if it ever hits a land, it's horrific. Um, is Harvester good? It doesn't seem great. I don't think we're really racing. I think I'm just trying, going to try to set up a, a huge battlefield. Kind of like Nyssa, to be honest. And I kind of like Sky Sovereign. Just go bigger than them. Both are good against their sorcery speed removal. Yeah. We have enough low end here if you count Ballista as a two drop. I will play first. Ugh. It's double monument, zero green creatures. Yeah, that's gotta be a mulligan. Uh, this hand's fine. Got some twos. I need to draw some lands. Definitely don't need a five drop. Opponent keeps seven. And I think I'm going to play Heart of Kieran on turn two. And then Kenra, pump the Kenra with its own ability, attack for four. And then Walking Ballista, and I can keep attacking for four if I want to. That'll get me to seven power if I crew the next turn. Okay, Plains Mountain, Servo Exhibition. So I'm definitely going to want a ballista for two. I think I'm just going to get in for four here. It would be really bad not to if they just have a removal spell. And I might be just ahead in the race. Especially with, with Ballista to contain some of their board. 
they leave up mana on their turn, I can just not act, animate the heart. So they don't get to kill that. I guess they don't really... They'd have to have hub to threaten harness lightning it. A braid kills it regardless. Cartouche of Solidarity. Yeah. That's a pretty good one. But I will take the damage. Oh, they do have the hub. Well, that's frustrating. Uh, I am still going to play this Ballista on two because that lets me Galta next turn. If I draw land, I can Galta with defense up. So if they kill the Ballista, I get to kill two of their tokens. So I'm not too worried about a removal spell. But I don't want to run the heart into a Harness Lightning. So I'm just going to pass the turn. If they Harness Lightning the Kenra in response, that's fine. I guess I, sh I should have attacked with Kenra first, I think. No, I'd rather leave the Kenra back. Because I don't really want to block with Ballista. They did have Harness Lightning. Uh, do I kill the two tokens, or do I kill the one with the cartouche on it? Probably the one with the cartouche on it. Okay, well, now I just need to draw, like, a, any sort of creature is great. Well, that total's a lot higher this time, so that's good. What is going on? What is going on? This cards until an artifact or creature card is revealed. Let's see. Okay. Razak, what? Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okay then, sure. Uh, what what else is in their deck? I guess that's sort of the idea with the the filter spell. So their token combo, indomitable creativity, into Razaketh. Where do the exile cards go? Yeah, that's so that they're or the revealed cards just get shuffled back. Okay then. Uh, and I drew a land. Perfect. So I can get Galta down, which I think is my only shot, right? Um, do they have a straight-up answer to Galta in their deck? It doesn't seem like it. They don't have the mana to fin it to cast finish next turn. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I, I do that by Blossoming Defense and Kenra, Krug Heart, and then casting it for four. And then next turn, I have a 15 15 Trampler. I, I think I just have to hope they don't. I mean, if they have another red source in the hand, I guess they could tutor for it. No, they can't. Another creativity is not good because they probably just have more Razakaths. Because that's the idea. Like you, you turn one token into this, and then the other tokens are demonic tutors. Harness Lightning doesn't do it. And I don't think I can afford to wait because this Razaketh is just going to kill me. So, yep. Let's do it. And crew. And Galta. I have a 12-12. What do you have? Hmm. 
Now it's kind of hard for them to, to if they don't really have anything good to tutor for. A threaten would be just short unless they keep that warrior around. Because a threaten, I would crew the heart in response. They'd have twenty trample that I could soak up four of. But the warrior would make it exactly lethal, which would be a tilt. Okay, there's the warrior down. Show me whatever you have to deal with this Galtha. I guess that's why they have sheltering light. That explains the the sheltering light and the um, and the blossoming defense. It, there was a there to protect Razaketh. Okay. Everything's everything's coming together now. So I imagine they found Cartouche and they have a red burn spell so they can finish off Galta with first strike, but I have this Haship Oasis. Ooh. Okay, maybe they just have some card that stalls for a turn and they've turned this uh, clock into two turn into two turns instead of three. Do they have some way to give a double strike and kill me? Oh, onward to victory. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, that's pretty neat. They just sort of combo kill you. Oh, I guess I should have... I guess I should have just blocked. I mean, I just wasn't even thinking about what they could have. <laughs> um, but sure. I'm dead. Probably win that game if I just block. I mean, this thing tramples. It would be 18. I would, I would go to 3. Even if they had Blossoming Defense here, I would go to 1. I guess if they had Blossoming Defense, they could defense first and then onward to get 4 out of it. So I'd be dead. So I couldn't beat Blossoming Defense. Uh, but yeah. Sure, you, you got me. I'm, I'm, for, I'm honestly just happy to see things like that. That's pretty cool. I mean, I just thought they were like a, a standard issue token deck. I guess I should have suspected something with all the... Because they definitely weren't a standard issue token deck in that first game with the the protection spells and the, the weird uh, tormenting voice that makes two treasures. So I should have suspected something was up, but I don't know. I wasn't going to sit here and try to think of indomitable creativity and Rasiketh plus onward to victory kind of stuff. And yeah, that is uh, that's pretty cool. I think I probably could have won that second game, but you know, my opponent earned it. They put in the work. They clearly wanted it more than I did. They were trying harder, so they deserve it. Uh, either way, hope you enjoyed watching that one, and you can come back and see me on a Monday. Bye.